To get an A, I'm going to have to do a lot of work. <sighs> it's going to take me forever. <sighs> and then I have to maybe fail the test. And then I can't. And then I can't go outside. And then I can't go with my friends. And then I can't. So you start with all the deficit. You start to look at everything you don't have, everything you can't do, everything you have to give up. I'm talking about the power of thought. An enriched mind speaks it into existence. A poor mind doesn't want to jinx it. All you have to do is choose to be poor-minded or an enriched mind. So this fear of not saying it because you could jinx it is what's, again, what's stopping us from manifesting greatness. It's what stops us from actually achieving that goal or that dream. Man, Calusa High School, man. This is like a championship state division. Look at all these banners. We're at Calusa High School talking to, to, to over 500 students about finding their why, digging into their why, uh, how to use their experiences, how to use their pain uh, to, to, to move forward, to overcome, to overachieve, uh, and ultimately succeed in life. That's it. to attain your goals, it is a lot helpful to have a why. My why would definitely be my papa because he's my best friend and one thing that he's always told me is to really chase after your dreams and uh, don't stop until you get there. So. You're going to school not to just get good grades, you gotta get good grades because why? You're going to college because why? You're going after the dream because why? This is your why. Nobody else is. So nobody else cares about that lady. Nobody else cares about that lady who had you. Same thing, you use your body to achieve anything. I'm Jennifer Garcia and I'm a sophomore. Trying is gonna get you nowhere. You actually need to act on it and have conviction to follow your dream to get to your goal. I'm feeling optimistic. Where does he say success? I feel successful. I want somebody to take this pen from my hand. Ah, there you go, it's my turn. Where are you? I want somebody to not take this pen. Awesome. So, so far they're passing the test, right? I said, somebody take this pen, they passed. Somebody, tr oh, hold on, let me stand up for this one. Somebody tried to take this pen. <laughs> Try really, really hard. <laughs> We're using words that have no response, no emotion. Or, our body doesn't know. Y'all look like you were glitching. <laughs> I don't know what you were doing, but your response, you, there's no visual for try. So when we say, I'm going to try to do my homework, I'm going to try to show up on time, I'm going to try to lose weight, I'm going to try to get an A, we're really lying to ourselves. Because when we step up to that line, when something matters, we make it happen. So I want you from this point forward, never to use the word try. You guys. And if you hear your friend, you're like, nope. Say that again without saying try. I will be successful. Not I will try to be successful. I will graduate. I will go to college. I will win. 
I will execute. When you start to speak like that, you're removing words and you make it simpler for the mind to just do, take action. Okay? Now. My goal is to get into my dream school after high school, and my reason is to put the um Original question was, why do people fail to achieve a goal? The first answer was, they are not passionate enough to begin with. So now let's go, they are passionate. Let's say they are passionate, they set a goal. Why do people fail? They don't believe in themselves. They're not motivated. Now if you, work down, if you break down the word motivation, it's really motive plus action. Motive is a why. Motive is a reason. Motive is a purpose. It goes back to the same thing. Motive plus action. So they're not motivated. Now, they stop. That means motivation goes away at some point. It does. You guys are answering these questions from what part? Our from heart. here or from here? Mind. Think about it. Feeling something. Through everyone. You're, at, you're, you're attempting to break down a feeling with your mind. So you're, you're just giving me responses that you've heard before. That's all you're doing right now. Until you started laughing. Like, wait. So the laughter, that's feeling. So when I said, what's passion? Uh, um, wait, is it guilt? or uh, I don't Like, so attempting to break down, this is exactly this wheel. It's so easy to be like, oh, well, I'm happy. I'm stressed out. I'm overwhelmed. So easy to read. It happens up here. But the minute that I ask you, what does it mean? Uh, no, understand that I'm asking more questions than I'm giving you answers. And I'm doing that for a reason. Because the answer is never, never the solution. If that makes any sense. It's understanding how to process. It's understanding how to work the problem out. That's where you gain. All right, my name is Kate Smith. I'm in ninth grade. And what I really take away from this experience today is the try and the really, like, the vocab of what you're saying. So if you say, I'm gonna try to do it, you're not really gonna fully, you're not gonna do it. But if you say you're gonna do it, you're gonna get it done. Connected. 